In this video, you will learn how to establish a connection between MATLAB and Fluent. There are five main steps we will cover. Download and install the ANSYS AAS MATLAB Toolbox. Launch Fluent in AAS mode. Initialize ORB in the ANSYS Toolbox in MATLAB. Initiate the connection from MATLAB to Fluent. And then we'll verify the connection with an example. We will assume that MATLAB is already installed. The first step is to download and install the ANSYS AAS MATLAB Toolbox. You should only have to complete this once on the computer running MATLAB. This file can be downloaded from the ANSYS customer portal. Once logged in, simply search for MATLAB AAS which will bring you to solution number 2042389. In the solution, you will see a link for the MATLAB Toolbox file. Download this file and take note of the folder you download or save the file to. Now launch MATLAB and we will install the Toolbox by browsing to the downloaded folder location Right click on the toolbox file and choose install. I will then minimize MATLAB. The second step is to launch Fluent in AAS mode. In the Fluent launcher, first specify your working directory. For this example, my working directory is C backslash working folder. Then in the environment tab, I will set an environment variable fluent underscore AAS equals 1 and hit OK to launch Fluent. Fluent will launch and you will notice some additional lines at the bottom of the Fluent console window. Also note that a key file AAS underscore fluent ID dot TXT is created in our working directory. The third step is to initialize the ORB in the ANSYS AAS toolbox. In MATLAB, first issue the command ORB equals initialize underscore ORB. Then issue the command load underscore ANSYS underscore AAS. These two commands should only need to be executed once per MATLAB session. The fourth step will initiate the connection from MATLAB to Fluent. First change our MATLAB session to be in the same working directory as Fluent, or where the Fluent AAS underscore Fluent ID dot text key file mentioned earlier resides. Then issue the following two commands in MATLAB. Note that if your MATLAB session was not set to the same working directory, then the full path to the AAS Fluent ID dot text file must be specified in the first command. We will now confirm the connection is working by issuing the fluent report summary command. In MATLAB, issue the command ifluent tui interpreter dot do menu command to string and then the fluent command report summary. We will observe the output of the fluent command in our MATLAB session. We can go to Fluent and issue the same command and confirm the same output. Another example shows how we can change a setting in Fluent from MATLAB, such as turning the gravity option on and specifying the magnitudes. In MATLAB, issue the following command ifluent tui interpreter dot do menu command to string, and then the Fluent command define operating conditions, gravity, yes, and then the magnitudes. As soon as we hit enter, you will notice the Fluent session received the command from MATLAB and is now set as specified. This concludes the demonstration of setting up the connection between MATLAB and Fluent.